before with things scary, I'm GM Hans, and today my spirit Halloween Lord Doc Hanabar has arrived. So let's get unboxing. Same one that's on the side of the box. It says Lord Doc Hanavar. And again, this is my first time opening the box. So you're going to see how he's packed in. They pack it with, you have the Dr. Zombie clip art. This piece of cardboard, I guess, for the head. And another piece, and there he is. So he does come pre-built in the box, similar to all the other YJ hanging props. And as you can see, there he is. So I'm going to get him out carefully. I believe he does come with an adapter. I think obviously he would because all of them come out with an adapter. But let's see. There he is. So he does just come like that. Does he not have an adapter actually? Oh, that's interesting. I don't think Lord Doc Conovar comes with an adapter because it's not in the box unless it's on him somewhere. So here he is. He comes like this, kind of in a burrito kind of thing where he's wrapped up with a zip tie around his leg and everything. Right off the bat, I really like my face one. I can't see the arms yet because it's covered up to see if it's how thin it really is. But I got I really like the face on mine. So then the zip tie is on the back here. So you can it's well a twisty tie actually. Which you just you don't even need to cut them, which you just twist them. Alright, so as you can see, he just opens up and he does have an adapter. It's at, it's actually tied to him with that twisty tie, which is interesting. Obviously, you have the arms here, the gray motion center on his body, and he is completely built, so there's actually nothing you have to do except take this twisty tie off, which I'm gonna put that back in the box. But there he is. So I believe it says he's 5.2 foot, or I think, or no, 4.8 foot, I'm sorry. He's 4.8 foot tall, 
There's the face. The face is very nice. This is one of the best face sculpts, just right off the bat of taking him off. One of the best face sculpts of the season with the detail on the teeth there. I'm actually pretty happy with the arms on mine. Uh, Cauldron Cindy's didn't look super good, and I've seen some other ones. I'm pretty happy with mine. Other than this little indent, which you can actually fix. Also, it's not super thin. I know everyone was saying that it was like the th really thin. It is not. Look, I can't even move the finger, the hands here. Maybe this part is kind of thin, but the arms are not. Uh, obviously, the face is definitely not. It's the same uh, latex that they use on Bloody Bag Joke's face. It's literally the exact same material, and I really, really love those black eyes. It looks really nice. I love all the detail and the kind of paint on the side of his head there. Uh, the bat wing is super nice. Uh, it is kind of, it's not going to rip, like I mentioned that in my pre-review, but it's not going to. Uh, definitely. And he's not super heavy either. Uh, he's only five pounds, so he's not super heavy. So you'll be able to hang him off something that's not super strong. I love the black, uh, black nails here. That's nice. And you have the part that ne goes next to his head. The black eyes, easily the best part of Lord Doc Hanabar. I really, really like it. I really like the detail on the, even the tongue. The tongue literally looks like a real tongue. They did a really nice job on painting this guy. Uh, so now I'm going to plug him in and then I'm going to give you guys a demo. All right, he's set up. I got him a motion right now, so let's see. He is really nice. The one thing that really stands out to me, we'll do one more phrase. So you just saw a demo of him, and definitely the one thing that stands out to me that I saw is his audio is very high quality. I, they probably used some sort of different speaker on his control box because it sounds different than any other animatronic I have. It legitimately sounds like someone talking instead of like a speaker. So the audio is really, really nice. Uh, I heard a lot of other people were saying that his motor is really loud. It's actually not. It's really quiet. You can slightly hear it when his audio turns off, but while his audio is on, it's way louder than it is, so you're not going to hear it. Uh, his phrases and his voice are one of my favorite things about him. The voice they did is really, really nice. I think it really fits the character of a vampire human uh, kind of monster. And again, I'm, I'm focusing on those eyes just because I like them so, so much. Uh, obviously, when he turns on, he has red beaming eyes. So, they, like, I saw another guy mention that they were like lasers, which they definitely are. They go, they fade in and out, which is interesting because not a lot, not a lot of other animatronics do that. So it's really cool that they fade in and out of a, a dark red color. Uh, as you can see again, uh, I didn't show this. He has the same hook that Bloody Bag Jokes has, literally the exact same model. Uh, and one thing that's interesting, that's kind of a cool thing they did, they have these two other extra pieces on his wing that cover up the hook, so when he's hanging, you can't see it, so it just blends in with the, uh, the cloak there. It has this folded over piece to actually look like wings that are folded over, and again, it's not gonna rip off because it's, it's glued on there pretty nicely, so I'm not, I don't think that's gonna rip. One of my only things I don't like about him is, I, I knew this when I ordered him, is that the sensor is, like, stands out. But I know they can't change the color of the sensor, so you can't make it match with his skin. But that's the only thing. Uh, and even though it does get kind of covered up with his arm here, so I don't really have a problem with it. Again, the reason I ordered him is because of these veins in this detail. It's on the side of his neck there, and it's on his arms. I love the vein, the veins that are painted on there and everything. The detail is absolutely tremendous, and it definitely looks like a Distortions Unlimited prop. So I'm really, really impressed with it. So that's going to wrap up just this short unboxing of him. Again, later, probably not today, probably tomorrow, I will be releasing a full review of him. Uh, but today, I just wanted to do an unboxing and give some overall thoughts of him uh, after my first opinions. I'm going to think about him. I'm going to probably set him up in my room. And then later, I'll be coming out with my full review. Anyways, let's cut to the outro. So that's going to wrap up my unboxing and short review of my Spear Halloween Lord Doc Hanabar. Again, remember, probably tomorrow I'm going to be dropping my full review on him after I set him up and my actual thoughts, so definitely stay tuned for that. Remember, even though the Halloween season is over, I plan to upload videos throughout the entire rest of the year. Halloween never stops on the GM Haunts YouTube channel. As always, remember, for everything scary, I'm GM Haunts. I'll see you guys later for more spooky videos. 
Goodbye.